Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa. I'm addicted to luxury goods, accessories, makeup, skincare, self-care, and not going to rehab soon. Today, I have eight beauty favorites of 2023. I know it's different from our luxury videos, but I really want to share my absolute favorites of 2023 from skincare, hair care to makeup. And I just absolutely love these products and I really want to share with you so that maybe it'll be really good for you as well. And let's keep on watching. So the first one I want to talk about is from Olive Young. This one I got it since 2022, but I was using it so much in 2023 and I absolutely love this. This one is from Fation and it is the calming conditioning pad. It comes in like a tub like this and it has a spoolie that I dropped on the inside already because I'm already almost using it up. I actually just use this as a toner pad. You can also use this as like a face mask where you can just drop it down and just leave it. I now use this at night. So in 2023, there's two mists I absolutely enjoy. I use one up and I go into another. I use one up and I go back to this one. The first one is the D Alba First Spray Serum. This one I also got from Olive Young as well. And I think I talked about this in my favorites video previously last year. And the other one is the Yoris Time Is Running Out Mist. I know a lot of people talk about this. And I actually got this in Thailand and Sephora. It's already available or you can just get it from Korea as well. And today I'm just gonna use this one because this is the start of my morning and this is my morning routine so I'm just gonna do my morning routine as well as my favorites video I truly love their miss from my face close-up I do have a scar here from my pimple right now I am on my period so <sighs> next I'm gonna go into the fresh kombucha treatment essence i love 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 this essence for 2023 i've used it like so much there's barely any left i just absolutely love this product this product really soothes and calms your skin the consistency is just so lightweight that you barely feel anything but you can feel that your skin is drinking the water because my skin is really dry so i love this product it also has antioxidants if you are someone who has a sensitive skin or is easy irritated i highly recommend this product next for the morning i use this goro vita c vitamin c serum i love this again i got this from olive young so 2023 is a year of me using products a lot of products from olive young and i just like that the consistency is super lightweight it is like gel like but it's also very very cooling and i use this in the morning I have used two bottles of this now and I feel like this one really brightens your overall complexion. It does not, you know, make your face like wider. Like you don't go a lot of shades up in the foundation shades. But for me, I feel like this one, when I'm out in the sun for a while, this really brightens up my overall complexion. So I might go up like half or one a foundation shade because towards the end of 2023, I feel like my skin has got a little bit fairer as well. And I think it's also because of this product and i just love love this as for my evening skincare routine i could not live without this this is the fresh tea elixir this is their serum and oh my god i use this every night so i'm not gonna do it right now but the consistency is very very milky it's so milky and if you want your skin to be more resilient you have to use this product this one is just very calming very moisturizing and it really suits your skin and it makes your skin stronger as an overall like skin i love this product so much i use this every single night and i think it makes my skin a bit stronger and throughout 2023 i feel like pollution is really bad in thailand and i feel like i have gotten more like period pimples throughout the year but overall i feel like because of this product my skin is okay for the fact that i use it so much i put on makeup a lot of times i you know my routine my sleeping routine is not that great i sleep at a normal time but i feel like my sleep is not deep enough but overall i think this product is the best for resilience it is it is called the skin resilience activity serum so this one is amazing and i think it's great for all skin types 
Next for eye cream, I use this Caudalie so 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 much. This is the eye cream and it comes in this like applicator. I really really enjoy this. I use this every night in the morning. I do use a lighter eye cream but in the morning I feel like I haven't found the right eye cream for in the morning yet. Like I haven't found my absolute favorite for 2023. So I've just used a, a lot of things but at night I really really love this product you squeeze it out like that you apply it on and then you just massage it in oh my god this product is so cooling and it's so nice i really really love this you just like put it on and then you just massage it around your eyes you don't have to put too much pressure on it it just feels very cooling and it's great for deep puffing so if you have puffy eyes and when you're gonna use it you can just use it and go so you just massage it in like that Oh, it feels so nice and I do you know just go up a little bit just to get everything this is perfect for you and if you want a more cooling effect just put this thing in the fridge so now my eyes are moisturized as for morning cream I honestly could not get any other favorite this has been my favorite for years and I'm just gonna talk about it again because it really is my favorite this is the Tatcha Dewy skin cream I absolutely love this I truly love this product because I have been using it for years if you have been following me in other channels whatsoever on my Instagram or my previous skincare video I just couldn't stop talking about this like I have used tubs and tubs of this and this is just a really really great morning cream it gives your skin that glow that overall glow and you don't need to add any extra primer for you know glowiness you can or sometimes I do if my skin is really dry but I use this much and it adds an overall glow to my skin it has really good ingredients it smells amazing and throughout the day it keeps my skin really moisturized can you already see that my skin is like glowing like this product really makes your skin glow and one more thing is that it also is a really great base for makeup like i feel like my makeup sticks better when i use this cream i get compliments all the time like oh your skin is glowing what do you use obviously there's some glow from the sunscreen but it's also definitely this cream i just love this so much and i highly recommend for anybody who likes the glowy look like if you want a matte look stay away from this cream if you like the healthy glow look I truly recommend the Tatcha Dewy skin cream as for night cream I could not stop using this cream this is from fresh this is the Lotus youth preserve dream face cream and this is the super Lotus night recovery the name is so long but oh my god like this cream is so good for redness or if you have really sensitive skin because this was proven I use this many nights and I think my skin has gotten better with redness however the test of this product was that my boyfriend was really allergic to something and his face was like all red he's very easy to be allergic to food but we don't know what happened that day his face was all red so I basically used this because I told him that this really calmed and soothed my face I used like a huge amount of this and I massage it in his face for like 15 minutes like I basically just gave him a facial with this cream and oh my god his face really gotten better right after the massage like his redness was a lot better his skin looked more soothed and I just you know have more belief in this product and I use it at night as well even though I use this after the tea elixir at night so this is gonna give my skin resilience and this is gonna calm my skin down and really soothe all the redness and dryness and also add moisture I just truly truly love this product and I highly recommend this if you have sensitive skin you cannot not try this <laughs> As for sunscreens, I have three sunscreens that I used so much in 2023. I know I've already talked about the Super Group Everyday Single Face in a previous video and also on my Instagram like a lot. But I still use this so much in 2023. It's just lightweight. It's really good under makeup. Like I just 
want to talk about this again that this is a very good sunscreen and the packaging is cute like it's in my hand size and the other two sunscreens are Korean brands obviously so many people have already talked about this this is from Beauty of Joseon it is lightweight it is nice it is great it is basically what everybody was talking about and I understand all the buzz but now I feel like in 2023 there's just so many sunscreen releases there's other brands that's good as well which is also this one this is the Melixer vegan airlift sunscreen SPF 50 this one is also Korean brand but I got this from Sephora I love these two I think they're very similar in many ways and also they are Korean sunscreens so I mean they are Korean sunscreens but this one this one is also reef safe so I really enjoy this for the most part of 2023 and I've been using these two alongside but today I'm gonna be using this one so you can see the consistency as there are not many reviews on this product like it is also very creamy but lightweight it's kind of like a bridge between milky and creamy just because when you blend it in it is very like very very lightweight i'm just gonna blend this on my face as you can see it goes very smoothly there's no white cast whatsoever and it smells really nice too i think i need to use more of that i do use a lot of sunscreen as you can see it like completely disappears into your skin but it keeps your skin locked in as well it keeps your skin moisturized so your skin don't get dry during the day i feel like some sunscreens makes my skin dry during the day so i blend this in the back of my hand as well if you want to see this one is without other products on my hands you can see it has a little bit of glowiness as well but on my face there's already a glowiness from the dewy skin cream so right now my face is literally like a mirror so i'm just gonna use more for my forehead down my my nose and blend that in so here you have it this is my entire skincare routine and my favorites of my skincare routine in 2023 for a lip balm i love these two lip balms right here the first one is from augustinus batter i know it is expensive like why am i using expensive lip balm but i actually got this one um i got gifted this one and i just cannot stop using it i love this throughout the day my boyfriend loves this because it's just there's no scent to it it feels natural Natural, it feels light it feels moisturizing throughout the day this is like the best day lip balms and for like night lip masks just go through my previous video I have a whole list of great lip masks at night and this is just a really good lip balm for the day the other one I really love when I have makeup on or when I want to use it during the day this one is from nude sticks this is the nude skin hydra peptide lip butter and it is in this shade dolce nude so that it has a little bit of color but it's nude so let me show you what it looks like that's what it looks like and it just gives my lips a little bit of that sheen and also a little bit of color so it gives my lips a little bit more juiciness and also there's like a tingling not really tingling but a cooling minty taste to it but it smells like vanilla caramel so i just think this is delicious i enjoy it so so much and i use it so so much so i highly recommend if you like delicious lip balms and it really moisturizes it gives your lips a little bit of sheen and also a little bit of color last but not the least for skincare i almost forgot about it are sheet masks and this is definitely the winner of this year i truly love the abib sheet mask with the black borders and i say this again the black borders because the black borders are gummy sheet masks the sheet mask itself is like jelly like and it's just so nice i bought so many in my recent korea trip and it's just very very soft it's gummy like it really moisturizes your skin i highly recommend you try and the price is really good if you get it from korea as well i tried all their formulas they have many many types and i think my favorite would be the milk sticker one they also have like like this hyaluron sticker they have a few they have like the orange i actually don't remember the name they have the orange like the green thing and i think these two are my favorites which is the water drops and the milk thing so if you can't remember their names just remember the photo of this i just highly recommend you try their sheet mask as for hair care i don't really have a favorite shampoo or conditioner like i don't have that one ultimate favorite so i just use a few things i still do love the brand G brioggio i love olaplex 
all that i still love them but there's no one absolute favorite but as for my dry shampoo this has been my hero for the year this is from olaplex number no. 4d this is their clean volume detox dry shampoo i just i love this so much i got this from sephora here in thailand and i just really enjoy this because my hair gets oily quite easily i don't know if you can see i wash my hair every other day but by the day that i need to wash my hair sometimes it's already you know a little bit oily so i just add this on a little bit and then i just massage it in my hair i do sometimes pull my hair up and then spray it on the side and just massage it in and when you spray this product it has also like a cooling sensation to your scalp so i think it's very very like nice and cooling and also it really gives your hair that freshness and a little bit of volume and i think it's just exactly what it says it's gonna do which is clean my hair be a good dry shampoo and yeah now we're gonna go into makeup and i'm just gonna pick a few things from makeup and not everything that i've been using because there's just you know so many things i've already talked about but first the only foundation i've been using for the entire 2023 that i love is the hourglass veil this one is the hydrating skin tint i would say for me i love lightweight foundation i like to show my skin i like to you know spot conceal i highly recommend you try the hourglass veil if you like the natural skin look i think this just really gives my skin that coverage and you know it conceals redness but it still gives my skin that skin like effect and it really shows the skin and this one i'm using shade number one it's a tiny bit lighter than my overall skin but because number two is slightly too dark so i would go slightly too light for me because i will use bronzers contours whatnot to you know set my face and everything so i like to go a little bit lighter so it conceals my entire skin however today i'm not going to be using this because today i want to go a more even natural route with just concealers which i'm gonna talk about and my favorite this year is still the rare beauty concealer i use this underneath my eyes i just love 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 this product like i can't tell you how much i love this product i just put this under my eyes and i let it be i just let it set and then i go do my eyebrows and i am using shade 130n i just really really enjoy this and my new favorite for this year i've been using this like since the beginning of the year towards you know all the time and this one is from tower 28 i have been using this only for a few months but i have already you know fallen in love with it and i've seen so many reviews so i could not wait to try it and i actually spot conceal i don't use this underneath my eyes i use this wherever i have my scar so like right here a little bit of redness there i have my scar here a little bit here and also here and also this pimple is really bothering me like it's a pimple that you know is almost gone but it's like why are you not gone yet and i also do it around here where i you know have my pores and also that so this is what i do when i don't want to use foundation because i feel like today i do not want to use foundation so this is what i do all on my face then i'm gonna go do my brows and i'm gonna blend this so here's how i do my eyebrows and if you want to see what i do please go back to my other video that i have done my makeup routine and i basically use the same things now we're gonna blend so here my skin is all blended and glowy i just love this all natural look and next my favorite contour bronzer for this year is from milk makeup this is very very tiny this is the sculpt stick in the shade toasted it just comes in like this but the unfortunate thing is that the turnstile on this bottom right here is already broken i don't know what i did i don't know why but it doesn't turn so i just you know throw my brush in and go for it so what i do with this is that i sculpt my face and i sculpt my nose i just go like that a little bit on my forehead and on my nose i'm just gonna use the brush and throw it in but let me blend my face 
I also absolutely love this Patrick Ta brush and I got this from Sephora. This is the Four Face 2 which is just, you know, this cream blending on the side and this one I use for powder. So I just blend, blend, blend. So here my face and nose is all contoured with this milk makeup. I highly recommend you try this. It's very easy to travel with. It just, you know, and I've used this so much in 2023 and it's still, you know, not going anywhere. I can still use so much of this. So I highly recommend that you try this product. As for blush, there is two cream blush I really love in 2023. And the first one is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is their Pillow Talk. And this one is the matte beauty blush wand is just really easy to use and the other one is the anastasia beverly hills this one it comes one side with the brush and the other side is just this cream blush and this is in the shade pink dahlia i just think this is absolutely so pretty and it looks really pink but when as you blend it out it just turns into this light soft pink very barbie like but very soft and very very pretty i really really recommend this one but today I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury as I haven't used it for a while. So as you know with Charlotte Tilbury products, it comes like this and I think when you turn it on and off you have to be really careful which how much you squeeze it up because sometimes it has too much product i usually put it in the back of my hand first to see you know how much product is coming out and now that i see it it's not too bad so i'm just gonna put it on my face so i just dot it like that I just dot it on my face like that and blend. So for this side, I'm gonna be really careful when I blend because I did not set my concealer, but um, I don't wanna set it because I want my face to be really dewy and not powdery whatsoever. powder blush these are my two favorites of 2023 the first one i want to talk about is from dior this is the rosy glow in the shade rosewood 012 and i feel like this is everybody's favorite so far that i've been watching reviews videos this one is just so pretty it's just that like nice pinky glow it is very very light you can really build this up i would say these two have very similar formulas but the hermes one is even easier to blend this one is also my favorite this was also gifted to me but in the end i love it so much this is the rose hermes in the shade 37 rose poire i don't know if i'm spelling this right but it's shade 37 and it is rose poire poi poi okay whatever it is this one is more on the peachier side but it is very similar in shade i hope you can tell so this one is the dior rosy glow and this one is the hermes the hermes is just a tiny bit peachier but these two are so easy to blend i would say the hermes one is even easier to blend than the dior if you have not tried the hermes and you've been loving the dior you will love the hermes it just gives your cheeks the most subtle pretty like very very luxurious feel it's very lightweight you can build it up it feels soft smooth it's just really amazing i would say if i had to pick one it would definitely be the hermes but if i could pick both obviously i'm gonna pick both but these two are just top notch it blends super easily for powder blushes i highly recommend these two products so that's all done for my face and as for my eyes i absolutely love these two this is from rare beauty it's their all of the above weightless eyeshadow stick and this color is well-being this color is integrity basically well-being is more of a pinkier champagne shade and integrity is more of like a normal goldy shade but i just absolutely love these two products because it's just so easy on the go you swipe it you blend it and you go i'm all about that that quick makeup all natural really quick and i can just do this in the car because i actually do my makeup a lot in the car so let me swatch them for you the first one this is the integrity this is integrity as you can see it's kind of like just that normal bronzy gold but it's quite light and it's very very light when you blend it out and this one is well-being it's more of that champagne rosy gold 
so as you blend it out if you blend this out it really turns really really light but if you let it set and you blend it out late then it's gonna stay really really rich in color so it really depends on what you like and today I'm just gonna go for the well-being color so it goes with my pinky blush what I do is I basically just go in like that like I really go in because if you blend it quickly it really really is sheared out just like that you can barely see that I put on something so it's just that little bit of sheen a little bit of color so I just go in one more time and this time I'm focusing on the bottom the first one I go all over my lid the second time I just go at the bottom of my lids so you can see the difference in color and then I want to add a little bit underneath my eyes so I just go like that and I use the corner of the stick I don't even need to like sharpen it I just go on the bottom like that and it gives a little bit of like sheen underneath my eyes I hope you can see this like a little bit of there and um, I just use my pinky to blend it out a little but yeah you can see that there's like a little bit of shimmer there and then a little bit of shimmer down there and that's it i just get out the door and that's complete as for the lips i have this lip combo that i cannot stop using literally i think it's more of just the gloss but this lip combo is what i've been using the entire year i mean i've used it so much so i use this rare beauty lip liner this is in the shade worthy and i go on top with pat mcgrath labs this is their gloss in the shade bronze divinity and honestly it's all about the gloss like i think you can change the shade of your lip liner depending if you want to go light you want to go dark but this Pat McGrath gloss is just everything. I got this from Sephora, but look at that. It is so pretty. Like, I love that it is quite pink, but it has like specks of gold shimmers. Oh my god, it's like pink and gold shimmers together. It is so pretty. Let me show you how pretty this combo is. I sometimes I also put Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liner. Pretty depends on the day and I also have another shade of the Pat McGrath gloss but this one is my ultimate favorite or you can go try which is your favorite. I just absolutely love it. So here it is. This is the Rare Beauty lip liner and I also put this all over my mouth. I don't just line it. So this is the Rare Beauty shade in Worthy. I do also have the Nude Sticks lip balm underneath, so maybe it's a little bit more orange, but this is very like nude pink mauve tone. And I do line above my lips a tiny bit and the highlight of this video this one the consistency is very sticky it's not watery at all you already have one layer of the sheen then i go in with another layer and there it is I just absolutely love how juicy this is and every time I use this lip gloss, I get compliments and they ask me what I'm using and it's just so pretty. Look at that. Look at the sheen of the lips. Oh, it's so pretty. And if you don't like too much of like a sheen, like a glowy look, you can add powder to your T-zone. But because I'm very dry throughout the day, I'm just gonna leave my skin very, very dewy. And this is the finished look. Last but not the least, after makeup, I want to talk about this perfume right here. This one is from Clive Christine. I actually was gifted this product and oh my god, I have have been using this like non-stop but as you can see i have only used like this much because this scent okay first of all i need to tell you that i live in thailand it is hot and humid and a lot of scents don't hold like a lot of scents go either go away really quickly or it smells kind of weird because it's so hot and humid but this one oh my god this scent is just so amazing it is called town and country basically their concept about this scent was that you know in the uk you come to the town you go back to the country during the weekend you come to town during the week to work it's just that vibe where you like come to town and go to the countryside you're you know you're rich you can come in you can go out you're you can do whatever you want basically but this scent is like woody but mysterious and also warm and also like 
like it just smells amazing but if i spray too much of this it would smell too strong and it would have that like you know arabian kind of smell but i actually just like put this on my arm i do this like once and i tap 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 and that's it and i tap the rest on my body because the scent is so strong every time i wear this everybody that i know asks me like what am i wearing even throughout the day because in my skin i feel like my skin doesn't hold scent for that long of period of time but this scent is just so amazing i think it's really worth your money because it's expensive but i've only used like this much up and i've used it literally almost every day but just one spray per day because i will smell like this forever and one more thing is that i put this on my clothes once like i sprayed on my clothes i go into my car i was gonna drive and i put my seat belt on and then the next day when i come back and i put my seat belt on i could smell the scent on my seat belt like it just it stays forever sometimes even when i like wash my arms and then when i wash my arms i could still smell the scent it is just so long wearing so strong but i absolutely love this this is clive christian tan and country if you like kind of woody mysterious scent and you don't love that like fresh floral sweet scent this is the one for you it's kind of like it smells like a rich girl <laughs> that is mysterious and is woody and warm i just look up the notes and go try it if you like it honestly my favorite of 2023 and i hope you enjoyed this video and these are my absolute favorite products if you have any questions or comments or if you like these kind of videos or if you prefer more of the Hermes video please let me know in the comments down below and please like and subscribe i hope to see you in the next one bye